Okay, so it's Pocket Gamer, we're at E3, we're checking out all the all the unconsoles, and uh, you have an unconsole. Tell us tell us who you are and what unconsole you're all about. Yeah, thank you. So my name is Charles Huang, and I'm a CEO of Green Throttle Games. Okay. So we build controllers and apps uh, and games that run on any Android device, phones, tablets, set-top boxes, TVs, to bring games onto televisions using controllers on Android. So we've been talking about kind of the controllers and how maybe journalists get a bit fixated with the controller. Do you want to show us your controller? Yeah, so this is this is the Green Throttle Atlas controller. Okay. And that's a, you can buy that now? Yes, you can buy this online at, at uh, our website or um, on Amazon.com. But we were kind of discussing that in the kind of medium long term, that's not really, controllers are important, but they're not really the core of your business. Right, the core of the business is really introducing and matching consumers with content and games that they want to play. So, you know, when you talk about uh, Android games on television right now, there's, uh, there's not uh, an easy way for consumers to find which games are compatible with controllers on TV. So our app, the Arena, when you download it, will recommend games to you that you can play on a television using controllers to make it easier for consumers. And so it's kind of interesting that we're kind of talking, that you're kind of actually what you're looking to do is you're not looking to take put Clash of Clans on a TV with a controller. That's exactly not what you're trying to do. Right, so exactly. Do? No, Clash of Clans works beautifully on a touch screen on a mobile device, and uh, that's not where we see Android games on TV going. Uh, we see it more of a differentiated classic console experience. It's a shared you know, experience that you're playing games with your friends on a television, and it's generally games that are um, also uh, more friendly to sort of the controller style gameplay, which is button mashing, fast action, those type of games that uh, also coincidentally don't work real well with a touch screen on mobile. So there's a whole genre of games that are multiplayer based, like the one that, that I worked on and created, Guitar Hero. Four people sitting in a room playing that together, you just can't get that experience on, uh, on a PC or on a mobile device, but you can get that in front of a television. And so we want to recreate that with a more accessible platform. But of course, we're at E3, the big Sony and Microsoft are the big yes. news. Yes. So we have these consoles. Why, why do we need yes. to on console when we can use uh -huh. Xbox One? Yeah, no. So the, the consoles are a great business, right? I was in that business for a long time. Uh, we made the biggest console game in the world for, for two or three years there. And uh, so I think if you are a Call of Duty elite player and you spend 20 hours a week on that, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, that is a perfect device for you. But there's an entire category of games that play on TV that don't need all the horsepower of an Xbox or PlayStation that reach a broader audience that's better uh, served with lower cost devices that, that don't need all the horsepower of Xbox One and that are more accessible to a broader market. I guess the interesting thing is, unlike you know, your game stick, you're using people's devices they already have, so they're just like yes. a controller. So. Exactly. So the phones and the tablets that you already own, and uh, you know, for a large segment of the people now, some of their televisions and uh, will ship with Android in it, and some set-top boxes in the future will ship with Android in it. These, any of these devices, will be able to work on top of. So the idea is, you already own devices that can play games on TV. You just don't know it yet, and we're introducing the pieces that will enable you to do that. And the other thing we were talking about is, uh, so yesterday, on Monday, Apple had their WWDC kind of keynote, right. and there was some interesting news which um, maybe means you're not just an Android. Yes. It's, it's, platform anymore. Yeah, it's very exciting news for us. Um, Apple announced uh, that there will be a third-party API spec for game controllers in iOS 7. So finally, that may open up a path for us to be able to get on iOS as well as Android. So we're really excited about that, that announcement. Good. Lovely. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, no, thank you for your time, John.